flavour to warm your cockles or grab a drink and get snaffling. Yeah, oh well. Welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and Reviews outside the workplace. Today, snack time. You will see, you will have seen by now um, my farm shop shopping new episodes and the one where I went to Robert's and you saw in that I purchased the next product. So snack time it is, lovely sunny day bright sunshine happy days unfortunately I am still here that's a downside but today we're going to enjoy these so one of the products I picked up at Robert's farm shop was the Snaffling Pig Coleman's Mighty Mustard Pork Crackling Boom! I have tried all of the Snaffling Pig flavours of scratchings most of them are pretty damn good but this is the only one I haven't tried as of yet and I got my hands on a bag £1.70 for a bag of scratchings eh, probably about average for scratchings a normal bag of standard scratchings are about 150 160 so I'm not complaining at the price at all and like I said in these videos I am got um, the farm farm shop shopping it's hard to say farm shop shopping video I am trying to um, embrace and buy local and do what I can for all the small businesses and I hope you guys will do too after you've seen the video so anyway Snaffling Pig post and Coleman's Mighty Mustard at Snaffling Pig we think if something worth it is worth doing pigging right that's why we always set out to make the finest most awesome flavoured pork crackling possible so when it came to a mighty combo of pork and mustard one of the true gifts from the piggy gods we didn't want just any old flavour we went for the legend, that is, Coleman's, who else would cook the mustard? The results of our efforts are inside the bag, delicious porky nuggets with that unmistakable Coleman's mustard kick. It's a flavour to warm your cockles, so grab a drink and get snaffling. Yeah, oh well. Normally, I would be sat at home on my chair, munching away, but here goes. Anyway, mustard flavoured pork, I think. Ingredients, pork rind, seasoning, salt, mustard flour, rice flour, yeast extract, sugar, natural flavour, dried spoon vinegar, dill, turmeric extract and paprika extract. Warning, not suitable bowls with wheat gnashes. Mine are not great, but I'm going to eat many eggs, I'm so looking forward to these. Piggly piggies. Well here goes. For the smell test. You smell like a scratchy. You don't really get much, much of the mustard smell. I was expecting a big pungent flavour, but there's not much there, so I'm hoping the taste is going to be a lot better. You don't get many in here, but look at the size of that bad boy. That is huge. So smell rating, I'm gonna give them a bag average five because you can smell the pork, the scratching, lovely crackling smell. The pork rind, but no mustard, which is worrying, but here you go. So here goes for the Snaffling Pig, Mighty Mustard's Coleman's Pork Scratchings. Cheers guys. Oh yes, I said you couldn't smell the mustard in these, but I'll tell you something, you can damn well taste it. These. When it says somebody 
no weak gnashes it, they actually mean it leaves them even hard for me to chew I'm actually scared for my teeth I'm going to find a smaller one Not quite so hard. Still got a good crunch. And the mustard flavour is there. It's probably not as potent as I would like it. I'd like a big powerful punch. You do get that Coleman taste in certain bites. It's just not as potent as it could be. These could be flavoured a lot stronger and they would be so much better. I've just seen one. That might have a lot of flavour. So this small one. You see that pork fat? <coughs> Lovely. Mm. See that one there? You get the potent mustard. Because it's more soaked in to the soft fatty bits instead of the hard crunchy bit. So get off the smell rating, bang average five because there's not much smell to him. But flavour rating, it jumps up to an eight. I would have given it a lot higher score, but some of them haven't got a strong mustard. Some of them have, some of them you get the punch of the mustard, but some of them you don't. The, the seasonings are a little bit off on certain places. But they do get, I'm gonna go with a seven. I'm gonna stick with a seven so snaffling pig pork crackings coleman mighty mustard pretty damn good would i buy them again probably yes because snaffling pig are a good company and their website is snafflingpig.co.uk go and pay these guys a visit because they make some amazing flavors their pigs of doom is a good one their barbecue one is also a very good one and they do the normal salt and vinegar and other ones but snaffling pig company is well worth a visit go and pay them a visit guys the pigs of doom if you like a bit of spice and you're scratching bang on so anyway that was my review of the snaffling pig the holman's mighty mustard pork crackling get a thumbs up get a seven for flavor smell rating bang average five There's no real mustard smell but plenty of mustard flavor in certain scratchings so that was my review so thank you very much for watching smash that like button hit that subscribe button when you hit the subscribe button don't forget the notification bell click all and you'll get every single notification from me rob of rob's homemade so from me rob and snaffling pig with another bang in the scratching can't argue with that fact thank you very much for watching peace